Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. If you've ever wanted your own personal house elf, you're in the right place because today we're making a life-size cardboard cutout of Dobby. But don't worry, I also, he, he is holding a sock, so that means he is a free elf. He, he, this isn't your slave, he's just uh, an elf to stand around and look ugly. I never really found Dobby cute. He looks like a like an 80 year old shaved cat or something like, I don't know. But he's an awesome character. I love Dobby, even though he's, he's ugly. If you do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below, share it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All of these things really do help out the channel a lot and I appreciate that. You can check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as the free downloadable templates for this project and let's get started. First, you want to download and print the free templates that I've provided. And this is <laughs> in four parts and it is a life-size Dobby. This is gonna be much easier than my life-size Snape that I did because like I said, there's only four pieces and the life-size Snape had a ton. This was actually, I, I had to put this together in Photoshop and it's actually two pictures of Dobby. One of them is a screenshot from the movie, which is this top half. And then this bottom half with its legs and feet are actually, I think it's from the Warner Bros tour. Um, and it's actually a, a statue of Dobby or like a life-size kind of replica of Dobby. Oh, and the sock he's holding is just a random sock that I found online because there, I couldn't find anything that actually had the full sock. So yeah. Somebody's sock is here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just trim off the straight edges here. So anywhere where there's a completely straight line, it's gonna be on the top or the bottom. This top piece only has one, and then the two middle pieces have uh, lines here and here we're going to cut, and the bottom one also has two uh, straight lines here and here we're going to cut. Okay, so now you should have these pieces kind of uh, cut out so that there's no white on the uh, top or bottom. And I also left about an inch of overlap here. So if I kind of take this one and put it over the bottom one, you can sort of line up the ankles and, and feet where they need to be. So I'm just gonna get a piece of scrap paper here to put underneath so that I don't get glue on my cutting mat. And I'll use a glue stick and I'm just gonna use this glue stick to um, glue <laughs> the pages together. So I'll just sort of line it up where it looks the most correct. So now I can just go ahead and put some glue on here. And as you can see, I'm going, I'm overshooting on, on each side, but I'm not going from all the way from this edge to this edge because that outside white space doesn't really matter as much because we're cutting it off anyways. And now I can just line this back up again where I had it. There we go. So now we have Dobby's feet. Look at those toenails. Seriously, with toenails this long, you would think if he's like walking on tiled floor or something, it clicks kind of like a little dog. All right, we're gonna move on to the next piece. So we're uh, gluing B on top of C now. And now we just need to glue uh, Dobby's head onto his body. And I picked this screenshot of Dobby from the movie because it's the moment he got the sock and he was just so happy. It's, it's great, He's, this is the happiest Dobby's ever been. And yeah, now we have all the pieces glued together, so we have a three foot tall Dobby. Now to make this a little bit easier, we're gonna take our scissors and just cut off some of the white along here, but don't go all the way up or even close to the edges yet because we're gonna cut that out at the same time we cut the cardboard. So yeah, what I mean is we're just gonna go out here and just cut, just to make it easier to manage without all the pieces hanging off the edge. And we will do that with both sides. And so you should be left with something like this. Now we need some cardboard and we need four pieces of cardboard which are about 11 by 17-ish um, in size. And we are going to attach them at the edges here. And the way we're gonna do that is the exact same way that I did the Skiving Snack Box and that is with some book binding tape. 
So if we just lay this tape right here, just like that, we can take these two pieces and line them up together. Go ahead and touch them together and then we can lay them down. And then up here, I'll take this little piece and fold it up. And now we can take the long piece of tape and fold it all the way around, all the way up to the top. And you could do this with uh, duct tape if you wanted. I'm just using the book binding tape because it's a bit nicer than duct tape. But yeah, this is what you want right here. Um, as you can see, they're both glue, or I'm sorry, they're both taped together. And we'll reinforce this a little bit later. This is just to easily get them stuck together. So go ahead and do this same thing with two more. So we want it four tall and they're all along the long edge. Okay, so now that you have four of these taped together, we're going to glue Dobby right on top. And actually, hey, we only needed three. So that was my bad, we only needed three of these. So yeah, let's go ahead and glue Dobby onto three of these. As you can see, this is how Dobby's going to fit. I'm using the ones that have, like the, the cardboard that has the printing on it facing Dobby so that the back is just plain cardboard. There we go, I can just cut this one off because I don't need it, my bad. You guys, you only need three. So now let's go ahead and line Dobby up on here, just like this, and then we're gonna glue him down. You could glue him down with whatever you want. I'm just gonna use glue sticks because I have a bunch of glue sticks and it's easy to do. So I'm gonna glue him down in sections. So I'm gonna start with his head. So his head section here, I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue on this side. Line him back up again and glue his head down right here. Keep in mind, if you are using a very liquidy glue, like Mod Podge or something, especially glues that you'll have to brush on, you will probably want to print this on a thicker paper, maybe cardstock, to keep it from wrinkling. So now we can just go around and make sure it's glued down everywhere where there's uh, printed parts of Dobby's image. So I, got, I need to add a little bit here under his ear. And now from here, you can just take it in sections. So I'll kind of roll his the rest of his uh, body <laughs> over the top like this, and then I'll just put some glue on the cardboard, and then I can just glue him down in sections like this. And yeah, just keep doing that till he's totally glued down onto the cardboard. Now that we have Dobby completely glued onto this gigantic uh, piece of cardboard that we made, we need to cut him out completely. So all the little details here and stuff, we are going to cut this out. And the only way you can really do this is by hand, so we're going to use a pair of scissors. And I've saved this for almost last because I hate cutting cardboard. So let's go ahead and give ourselves carpal tunnel, and yeah, let's do this. Look, he's starting to take on the shape of Dobby. So yeah, let's just keep going all the way around. It might take a little while, but um, there's only one more step after this, so let's get this part done. And there we go. Now that I have caused permanent damage to my hand from <laughs> cutting so much cardboard, Dobby should look like this. Not too bad. All right, so now what we need to do is reinforce the back of this because it's really easy to bend. And we also need to make sure that the stand works so he can stand up. So to do that, let's go ahead and just find the center that we want to, uh, where we want to put this, basically right down the center. And let's make a line so that we know exactly where this stand is going to go. So we'll go straight from the center all the way up here, and then we'll continue that line all the way up to about his neck right here, right where his shoulders and his neck is. And this line is uh, basically the, the center of balance for this uh, cardboard cutout. So what we need is a couple of pieces of cardboard long enough to go from his neck down to his feet. And right here is where this one needs to be cut off, so I'll just put a little bend right there. Now both of these pieces of cardboard need to be folded um, maybe not quite right down the center, maybe a little off center. I'd say maybe uh, a third of the way over. 
So to do this easily, I'm going to take a ruler and line up where I want my fold to be. And then I'm gonna take this, and this is actually um, for sculpting clay and stuff, but I'm gonna use it to make a little bit of a score in the cardboard so that it's easier to fold. So now that I've made that score mark, it'll bend exactly where I wanted it to, right there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this longer part and we are going to glue it so that it lines up with this line right here and it kind of sticks out like this. So this part we're gonna glue down onto it. To do that I'll be using a hot glue gun. Now that is glued down. Now up here where the shoulders and neck are for this part, we're gonna take this other part that we got, but we're going to glue it on this way instead. So as you can see, this one is glued on here and this one is glued on here, like this, and we can meet in the middle just like that. So now as you can see, we have this part right here that kind of doesn't quite stay where it needs to be. So I just need to cut off a little piece of cardboard like this, and then this piece of cardboard will just glue right here to hold these two together. And let's go ahead and do that same thing on the opposite side here. Now the only thing we have next to do is take another piece of cardboard to glue on here, but it needs to go at a bit of an angle all the way down so that it starts here and then it just tapers down and down and down until it meets the uh, cardboard that we already have on here. And this piece will go just right here. And once that's there, it will help stand Dobby up just like this. So it'll be sort of in the back and it helps him stand up straight. So now as you can see, with this sort of stand in the back here, I can just stand Dobby up just like this and he stands by himself. If you would like a chance at winning the life-size Dobby cutout that I made in this video today, I'm going to be giving away the templates to make your own, but after assembling it, it's just too big and awkward to send in the mail. So yeah, it's just going to be the templates, but they will be professionally printed on a laser printer. They're gonna look really nice. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description box below. Down there, you're also going to find links to other giveaways, such as my 45K giveaway, and that's for a Gilderoy Lockhart pop figure, a framed portrait of Gilderoy Lockhart, and his Defense Against the Dark Arts test that he gave at Hogwarts. On top of that, there's a 50K giveaway down there for a Muggle Magic mystery box. So that's just going to contain seven items. Five of them are things from uh, different subscription boxes that I've opened. So it's just a mix of things that I've picked out, as well as two unreleased projects of mine, which I'm not going to uh, post a video for or even hint at what they are until after the box is won and received. So you're, if you're interested in uh, getting in on that 50K giveaway, the link is in the description box below. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.